So um, I'm ready to start here. You go to samsclass.info, which I imagine you people know because of the email, but anyway, that's where you go. And then you click incident response and the attack matrix. And that shows you here, it's a captured a flag. So there's a bunch of challenges to do. And um, I just wanna give a general overview of the challenges so you can pick the ones that are of greatest interest to you because there are probably more than you can do and you should choose the ones that you want to learn from. And I'll demonstrate some of it, but um, all right. So the first thing is some um, defensive Linux servers. So you make a Google Cloud server, two Google Cloud servers, one Ubuntu and one Debian. And then you install a vulnerable version of Splunk on one, a vulnerable version of, um, well, Splunk and Suricata on one and Drupal. And then you attack it with Metasploit and you can watch the attack come in and detect it. And then there's, you play a little bit with OS query to detect suspicious activity on a Linux server. So those are a few defense uh, techniques. Then you're gonna need a Windows server. You can make it either locally or in the Google Cloud, but it's not free in the Google Cloud anymore. So if you're incredibly cheap, you can make it locally. Anyway, that's the, um, after you've got a Windows server, then there are various things to do to protect Windows servers. Um, I got installing Splunk and I have um, a way to detect excessive file creation and extra run keys. And I used to have a few more things here, but I have had to make this project over again because somehow in the last year, Sysmon seems to have totally changed its operation. So I had to, the queries become much more difficult. But anyway, um, this way you get to see exactly how Sysmon works because you kind of have to debug it back at the essential. Sysmon is a tool to gather Windows events and put them in a handy log location where Splunk can reach them. And so then you do capturing RAM from a process and uh, some more online tools, virus total, packet total, and then the Yara defense tool and the prefetch folder are just more general Windows forensic techniques. And then the attack matrix, which I'll talk about quite a bit. The attack matrix is an organized way to analyze APT attacks and defenses and I avoided it for about a year because it just looked mind boggling. And I finally got enough background information to understand it to some extent. So I made a series of challenges where you just practice reading and understanding the attack matrix and a little bit of using one of the many tools out there to simulate advanced persistent attacks. The one I set up was Caldera. And then there's some stuff which you may have already seen if you took the earlier uh, workshops this week, but if you don't know Splunk, you should definitely do Boss of the Sock. Splunk is really important and that's enough for to spend all the time doing that. If you don't know basic command line, there's exercises here where you learn binary, then you learn the Linux command line and more advanced Linux command line in, Ban in Bandit and then PowerShell. Um, so you can practice those if you like. Here's practice doing simple operations with Metasploit. And then here's networking um, projects, Nmap and Wireshark and Scapy. If you want to learn more about how to craft and individual packets and do port scans and such. So all those things are available. Um, so you go to these projects and try them. You'll find a scoreboard here and a place to submit flags there. And if you get stuck, uh, ask me or Caitlin or Elizabeth we're all in the chat and uh, we're here to answer questions. So yeah, I see people are questioning. Okay, yeah, all right. So uh, that's the basic introduction. I'm gonna stop this recording and put a um, and put up video here. I'll put videos of all the things here as we go ahead. And so just start solving puzzles and then I'll come back and demonstrate something a little later. I'm going to be here, but I'm going to stop this recording. <laughs>